In 2024, the fastest car production line in the world set a record of 45 seconds, and it was none other than Tesla with the Model Y. However, Tesla has once again broken its own record. As of now, they have a production line that builds a car in just 33 seconds. It's so fast that the human eye can barely keep up. Let's hear from Lars Moravi, Tesla's vice president of engineering. You know, they're, they're running uh, two lines for Model Y now, and they run 13K in 140 hours. They gotta be below, like closer to 35 seconds. Yeah. Do you realize how significant the number 33 seconds per car really is? An automatic espresso machine takes about 30 to 60 seconds to brew a single cup of coffee. That means in the time it takes to make your coffee, a fully assembled car rolls off the production line, and Tesla has a mind-blowing setup like that at Giga Shanghai. At first glance, Tesla's Giga Shanghai looks like just a giant building, but you'd be amazed by what's happening inside. So, how is Elon Musk able to build a car in just 33 seconds? And does that kind of speed come at the cost of quality? Let's dive into this revolutionary production line right now. Welcome to Tesla Car World. When we buy a car, we often focus on its appearance, range, and features. But have you ever wondered where and how these cars are actually made? Currently, Tesla has five major factories around the world directly involved in vehicle production. In the US, the Fremont factory produces the full range of Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y vehicles. Gigafactory Texas in Austin is currently manufacturing the Model Y and is set to become the main production hub for the Cybertruck and the upcoming Cybercab RoboTaxi next year. Meanwhile, Tesla's Giga Nevada is responsible for building the Tesla Semi, a Class 8 electric truck. It's one of the company's most challenging vehicles to manufacture due to its large scale and more complex production requirements. Still, Tesla is confident it can produce 50,000 units per year. In Europe, the Gigafactory Berlin focuses on producing the Model Y for the European market. And finally, in China, there's Guizhou Factory Shanghai, the star of today's episode which plays a critical role in manufacturing the Model 3 and Model Y for the Asian market. It boasts the highest production capacity across Tesla's entire global network. We don't think it's an exaggeration to say that the production line here feels like Tesla is building high-tech toys. It's truly so fast that at a glance, it looks like a scene straight out of an AI-generated sci-fi movie, but this is real. Every corner of the factory shows just how quickly they can build a car. At Giga Shanghai, you'll see very few humans working near the line. That's because most of the work is done by robotic arms, Giga casting machines, and various automated systems. These machines run entirely on their own, operating non-stop 24 hours a day without rest. And to produce a Model Y in under 35 seconds, do you know what the most critical part of the production line is? It's the manufacturing of the body panels and structural frame of the Model Y. This is the most complex and time-consuming step on the entire assembly line. In the past, Tesla used massive stamping presses, where a sheet of metal, usually aluminum, would be placed between two mold halves, then pressed into the desired shape. But that method is now a thing of the past. The new 33-second production line has completely eliminated that approach. Instead, Tesla has introduced a revolutionary machine. This is what many consider the most powerful part of the entire production line, Tesla's Giga Press Machine. Even the name sounds like some kind of superpower, and honestly, it kind of is. The Giga Press is like a modern engineering marvel in the auto industry. Elon Musk came up with the idea for this beast of a machine a giant die-casting press that can mold the entire rear underbody of a Model Y in just five seconds, using up to 6,200 tons of pressure. To put that into perspective, imagine an elephant that weighs around five tons. Now picture the force of 1,240 elephants. That's what this machine is pushing. We've talked about the Giga Press quite a bit before, so many of you probably already know just how efficient it is. What makes it so revolutionary is that it allows Tesla to cast huge parts of the car's frame, like the rear and front underbody, into single solid pieces. For example, the rear body of the Model Y used to be made of around 70 separate components. With the Giga Press, that's now just one or two large castings. That means eliminating roughly 370 welds and massively simplifying the assembly process. You see, in a traditional car production line, especially when it comes to the vehicle's frame, things are way more complicated. The body is usually made up of dozens of separate metal parts, 
stamped out of steel or aluminum, then pieced together using welding, bolts, or industrial adhesives. That method requires hundreds of welds and a bunch of highly precise welding robots. It's time-consuming and energy-intensive. With the GigaPress, since large parts of the car are cast as a single piece, the need for welding those parts together is pretty much eliminated. This casting tech has helped cut the production cost of the Model Y's rear underbody by around 40%. And because so many steps are now combined into this one machine, Elon Musk was able to remove about 300 excess robots from the production line, both for the front and rear of the vehicle. At Giga Shanghai, the Giga Press on the line can cast the Model Y's frame in just five seconds. Yeah, you heard that right. Five seconds from pouring molten aluminum into the mold to pressing it into shape. Then, a robot pulls the mold out, cools it in a 50 degree Celsius water bath, and places it directly onto the assembly line. Using these giant aluminum castings also helps reduce the overall weight of the vehicle, which is super important when you're dealing with the heavy battery packs in EVs. That weight reduction boosts energy efficiency, handling, and overall driving feel. Giga casting the body in five seconds compared to a few minutes using traditional stamping and welding is a total time saver. Basically, a machine built to crush time. It's one of the key reasons Tesla can aim for building a car every 33 seconds. Tesla estimates that this one machine alone has helped cut labor costs by about 20%. After the car frame is completed, the next step is assembling these cast components together. This is where a real production line can make your head spin. Inside the factory, you'll see long mechanical arms. These are fully programmed robotic arms. They don't get tired, they don't make mistakes, and they work at such high speeds that humans seem slow in comparison. Whether it's lifting a part, assembling joints, or painting the car, these robots handle everything with unbelievable precision and speed. The Model Y's body frame moves from one robot to the next along the line with each robot adding another piece to the overall puzzle. Next, the car moves into the paint shop, where the body is coated with a primer, then sanded to create a smooth surface. After that, it goes through a series of painting, dipping, and drying stages, receiving multiple layers of paint and clear coat depending on the final color. White is the easiest color to paint, which is why it's the cheapest. Red is more complex, requiring multiple layers and metallic flakes, making it more expensive. Once the paint is dry and polished, the body is moved on to have interior panels installed, electronic systems connected, and the windows fitted. In parallel with the body assembly process, the car's underbody and drivetrain, which house the vehicle's critical electrical systems, are assembled at high speed through a separate specialized process. We'll explain this as simply as possible. Okay, the process starts with building the structural battery pack. That means the battery is already fully assembled and forms one solid unit. This battery pack is then fixed right in the middle of the Model Y's underbody frame. Next, the front and rear castings, made using the Giga Press, are attached directly to the battery pack at both ends, front and back, forming the entire lower body of the car in just a few simple steps. The electric motors are then immediately installed onto the Giga castings, with one motor placed at the front and another at the rear of the vehicle. These motors are connected through a gearbox and drive shafts, delivering power to all four wheels and ensuring full all-wheel drive capability. The suspension system, a key component for a smooth and stable ride, is also mounted onto the castings, followed by the installation of the braking system and wheels. At this stage, the car's underbody starts to take on its final shape and can even move on its own as one large rolling structure, almost like a giant skateboard, incredibly agile and lightweight. Finally, to complete the build, a floor carpet is laid over the structural battery pack, and the interior components are installed into place, forming the inside space of the vehicle. The four seats are bolted directly onto the top of the structural battery pack, completing the lower body of the car. This process may sound lengthy, but in reality, it happens in the blink of an eye on an assembly line covered with robotic arms, working with extreme speed and precision. The last crucial step in the production process is mounting the fully assembled body onto the underframe and drivetrain. This step requires high precision, as the two sections are firmly connected using a series of bolts around the perimeter of the structural battery and castings. This creates a solid bond that ensures the vehicle's stability and safety. Once the body is attached to the underframe and drivetrain, the Model Y moves on to receive its final finishing touches from the quality control team, 
This is a vital stage where experts thoroughly inspect the entire vehicle, checking every component to catch and correct any errors or issues. This quality control process ensures that every car delivered to customers meets the highest standards of performance, safety, and overall quality. This is how the production line at Giga Shanghai operates, allowing a fully assembled vehicle to roll off the line every 33 seconds. Now you can start to grasp just how incredible this process is, and the truth is, Tesla wouldn't be where it is today without the Giga factory in Shanghai. With an annual production capacity of over 1 million vehicles, the cost of manufacturing in China is lower than in the US or Europe, thanks to cheaper labor, a strong local supply chain, and support from the Chinese government. This enables Tesla to maximize profits and stay competitive on pricing. It's no coincidence that the Model Y continues to be a top seller in this market, even though customers have many lower cost alternatives from brands like BYD, Geely, and Xpeng. Despite being built in just 33 seconds, the Model Y's build quality is never in question. It remains one of the best SUVs in its price range. Thanks to the high level of automation at Giga Shanghai, the role of Tesla employees there has shifted to highly sophisticated oversight. Most workers are no longer directly involved in hands-on production. Instead, they monitor the robots, analyze data, and step in only for tasks that require precision and attention to detail, the kind of work machines still can't quite do. However, with the rapid advancement of technology, in the next few years, the role of humans in this factory will mostly shift to supervision while the majority of the work will be handled by robots and AI. In particular, Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, is expected to be trialed at Tesla factories. The truth is, many jobs currently done by Tesla employees will likely be replaced by this robot, simply because it's incredibly smart. What's even more surprising is that this factory runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There are no breaks, no traditional shifts, no bells signaling the end of work hours. Everything inside the factory is controlled by a network of sensors, software, and AI algorithms. When an issue arises with any machine, the system automatically detects it, sends out an alert, and if needed, activates a backup machine instantly. This is why Tesla Giga Shanghai is often referred to as a self-healing factory. Every part of the factory is connected to data, constantly tracking and recording each movement and the condition of every component, ensuring production quality stays at the highest level and any faults are detected in real time. Another standout feature of the factory is the presence of automated guided vehicles, small agile robots that transport goods throughout the facility. These vehicles don't need drivers. They can autonomously navigate paths, stop, turn, and manage internal traffic intelligently, helping optimize operations without human intervention. China is the largest EV market in the world. Giga Shanghai allows Tesla to manufacture cars locally, avoiding high import taxes while meeting the growing demand from Chinese consumers for models like the Model 3 and Model Y. But Elon Musk's decision to build Giga Shanghai goes beyond just serving the local market. It was also intended to turn the factory into Tesla's export hub for Asian, European, and other global markets. This helps Tesla reduce reliance on its U.S. factories and optimize logistics. Giga Shanghai plays a strategic role in producing Tesla's next-generation EVs, particularly the upcoming affordable model expected to cost around $25,000 and launch by the end of 2025. According to Lars Moravi, Tesla's VP of Engineering, this new vehicle will be produced on the same line as the Model Y leveraging existing infrastructure to reduce costs and speed up development. Thanks to its compact design and an 80% reduction in the number of parts compared to the Model Y, this new model will not only be cheaper, but also achieve an incredible production speed, possibly as fast as one car every 20 seconds, far surpassing the current 33-second record held by the Model Y. Additionally, the new vehicle is confirmed to use lithium iron phosphate batteries supplied by cattle the world's largest battery manufacturer. Producing this affordable EV at Giga, Shanghai, means Tesla won't have to pay import tariffs on batteries sourced from China. Markets like the U.S. impose a 25% tariff on lithium-ion batteries and a 100% tariff on EVS imported from China, while Europe also has similar trade barriers. By integrating LFP battery production and vehicle assembly at Giga Shanghai, Tesla eliminates these 
tariff costs, helping keep the price of the Model 2 highly competitive. China, the world's largest EV market, is the ideal place for Tesla to launch this affordable vehicle. As mentioned earlier, Giga Shanghai offers a major cost advantage thanks to a strong local supply chain and government incentives. The factory also serves as a key export hub, allowing Tesla to deliver this low-cost model to global markets and compete with rivals like BYD. China accounts for over 50% of global EV sales, with strong and growing demand. Launching new models here allows Tesla to tap directly into a massive customer base and make a big impact in the world's most critical EV market. In our view, producing the $25,000 model at Giga Shanghai not only strengthens Tesla's position in the mass-market EV segment, but also showcases its technological edge with highly automated production lines and rapid manufacturing capabilities. This is a crucial step in Tesla's mission to accelerate the global adoption of electric vehicles, especially amid fierce competition in China. In your opinion, what are the biggest advantages of Tesla producing a Model Y every 33 seconds? Do you think other car manufacturers can match Tesla's 33-second production speed at Giga Shanghai?